Okay, welcome for another mathematics lesson. We're going to discuss a question here from uh, scale drawings, angles of elevation and depression, and also the application of trigonometry in the calculation of distances. An observer stationed 20 meters away from a tall building finds that the angle of elevation of the top of the building is 68 degrees and the angle of depression of the foot of its foot is 50 degrees. Calculate, correct to two decimal places, the height of the building. Therefore, this information can only be handled when it has been sketched. Therefore, we can talk about uh, this can be the building. This can be the building. Now, if this is the building, then we can talk of an observer being somewhere just a sub, at some point. 20 meters away from this building. Now, this observer is able to observe the top of the building through an angle of 68. The top through an angle of 68 degrees. And the bottom or the foot of the building through an angle of 50. Through an angle of 50. 50 degrees. You can observe the foot of the building. Therefore, now, for us to calculate the total height of the building, then we can get the two distances, the two distances separately, this height, and we also hide the other height. So we can call this one height 1 and height 2. Now, if an observer is at this point, if an observer is at this point, through the line of view, you can see this point here point x but when he lifts the highs you see the top through 68 degrees and the bottom through 50 degrees so we can now use trigonometry now that this is the length given and we have an angle here we are interested in this length so we can only use tangent because according to this angle we have the adjacent length and we want the opposite and remember that tangent of an angle is usually given by the opposite out of adjacent, opposite out of adjacent. So the tangent of 50 degrees is given by the opposite length, that is h1, divided by the adjacent length, that is 20. So for us to get h1, we need 20 tan 50. So let me compute this, 20 tan 50. This is going to give us 23.84 23.84 meters that is a uh, to two decimal places then now we can also calculate h2 by applying the same trigonometric ratio and that is a uh, tangent so we will talk of the tangent of 68 being given by opposite length h2 out of the adjacent length 20 so for us to get h2 then we need 20 turn 68 20 turn 68 this gives us 49.50 meters so the total height of the building now will be the sum 49.50 and 23.84. The total height is going to be 73.34 meters. Remember, we've been told to two decimal places. So that is a the height of the building. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.